Hey there everybody, quick little update about EtherSX2 here. Of course we have the open testing coming in, hopefully another couple of days, and of course I'm going to have some gameplay footage then, but today I just wanted to show you that um, it appears that on the Discord server, Talreth has posted an exclusion list, basically a list of devices where you cannot install EtherSX2 from Google Play. And so basically we have a big list up here with, I don't know how many devices, but if you look at the scroll bar, it's very, very teeny tiny. So you can see there's tons of devices on here. So any of these devices, you will not be able to install EtherSX2 on it because it is very, basically you're well below the recommended specs and it's probably just not going to run very well and obviously you know this is a very long very very long list so you know i wouldn't expect anybody to go through here and read it off one by one obviously i'm not going to do that either but say if you have a certain phone what you can do is you can come over here you just hit control f and you know to find and then you search okay i have a samsung you know maybe i have a galaxy or maybe I have a Samsung A21, right? So I, I type in Samsung. Okay, here we go. Here we have the Samsung section. Oh, okay. So you can see what's on the list. You can see all if I have an A21, it's not, the specs are not good enough for, or you know, maybe I have a Huawei of some kind, right? I can look up Huawei. Here we are. Let's say, oh, if you have this uh, Huawei Honor 7A, yeah, the specs aren't good enough, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, so you go through there, whatever your phone is, you can look it up and see if it's on the list. And um, if it's not on the list, then you might be good unless it's a 32-bit phone, because I do say 32-bit devices aren't included here, but they're not going to work either. So yeah, if you have a 32-bit device or anything like that. It's not going to work, so I'm going to leave the link to this paste bin down in the description so y'all can go ahead and look through it yourself and find your own phone. So, um, you know, a lot of you, because because I know I, I've gotten some comments on my EtherSX2 videos asking, hey, is this phone going to work? Is this phone going to work? Oh, I hope it runs well, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, if, if you have a lower end phone and you're not sure, well, the list is right here, people. So you can go ahead and look through yourself and see if it's good or not. And uh, good luck to everybody. And like I said, I'm going to be putting out definitely another video or two about Aether SX2 as soon as the beta drops. So I uh, hope you all have a good day and I'll see you real soon.